Okay, so what I'm going to try here is swapping over these lifters. This is a GM lifter. That's actually not the part number. The part number is actually this. Just got a pack of 16 from Summit Racing. Where I got another video which shows the crown or the foot profile. Look pretty good. You can tell it's just really nice machined. Not like the uh, junk that you do buy. Now, the interesting thing about these is the, what I'm interested in is putting them in a Rover V8. This, this down in here is designed for GM push rod. The Rover lifter, oops, let's have a look at this end. Looks like this. The cup is slightly different. I mean, the GM also has an oil hole down the bottom. I know that's not a problem to use with the, the Rover push rod in these, because plenty of people have. But something I have found interesting is, let me just go and put the foam up here. If I go and put a 3 8 ball in here, which is the right size for a Rover push rod, let's go measure it. Barely any preload, so we're at it. 2.154. If I go do the same, two point one three four. Now bear in mind though, I'm measuring a I'm measuring to the crown of this lifter, which has a crown right in the center, and this one it's actually dished in the center, you can see, because it's it's an old lifter. So it might not be as much as might not be as much as ten thou. It might be more like a you know nine thou. Oops. So two point one five four. Two point one three. Oh, twenty thou. My bad. My bad. 20 thou difference, but it might not be as much as 20, it might be, you know, 19. Now what that does mean though, is if you decide to use these right now in your Rover V8, your push rods are gonna be basically too short and you probably won't have the right preload. So what we're gonna try here is swapping out the caps. You can tell by looking at them. Not very similar in there. Very similar, so let's try. I don't know if cap is the right name. First time I've ever done this, so let's see how hard this is gonna be. Well, that was easy. One side. Second side. I guess I have to push down. Should have probably got something slightly bigger. Oh, that worked. Okay, that disc can drop back in. There we go. Okay, let's try the same with the Rover V8 lifter, the factory lifter that's well used. Okay. Well, that's really awfully dirty. Let's clean this up. Interestingly, so this doesn't have a cap, this disc in here, let me make sure I put these on the right sides, have this disc, as in this one, I'm assuming it's like a shim, sitting in here, this one did not have Going further. Hard to tell because it's filthy. Well, 
see. Will it even go in? I mean, it does. Just cropped in there. Let's have a look. This here measures two nine nine. This is point two four six. Okay. I get rid of that. Where is my piston coming out there we go it's gonna do the same on the rover Ooh. didn't want to play does not want to play Down and now the dimensions look identical. Can't get a real good look. Just stuck with oil. Let's see. Ew, 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 ew. Dirty. <laughs> you nasty. It's just all a load of crud around the top, that's what it is. It's all the stuff around here, that's why it doesn't want to come out. So let's clean that up. stuff here is a gasket remover I don't know what it is but it's really good at getting rid of really good at getting rid of old crud like that
Let's do a side by side of these. I'm going to clean my hands a little. So again, the nice shiny stuff here is the uh, brand new GM lifter from Summit Racing. This is an old Rover V8 lifter, factory one from uh, 1995, 3.9. Oh, damn, they couldn't be any more similar, could they? look absolutely the same so the thing I was trying to get to is this dimension in here let's measure this this is basically a step that again this is a row of parts going back together this fits in here like so let's have a look in here I'm going to measure, make sure I zeroed. Oops, what's going on? I zeroed. Could measure this. Make two five, let's re verify that. This is probably more accurate. One seven eight five. One eight one five here. Yeah. There's a lot of junk in here still. Okay, I'm happy with that. One eight three five. Let's measure this one. One eight one five. One eight two five. I'd say that's the same. So in theory, this will drop in here just like that, and that's a. A little bit of movement there is exactly the same as well that's even that's more movement so again gm rover so i would say i'm just going to assemble this but obviously what i would do is clean these up all this stuff in there still from the factory and give this a wipe because my fingers are now got all the crud on them from the rover lifter. Drop this back in here very carefully. Now, this is that is a tight fit. Do not force this. There's a beautiful fit in there, so. So that's pushing against that spring in the bottom and against the check valve, probably, that I've now gone and pushed out. So, oh, there we go. I dropped in a little bit. So I'm gonna do that. We're gonna leave out the disc. I think that disc is a, uh, I think that's related to the, it acts like a valve under here. Yeah, that's what it is, isn't it? That's some kind of valve for the underside of this. It's got to be. So this drops in and we're going to use the new GM thing. So let's go and use calibrated device here. Push that down. Yeah, that's going to work. I don't know how I'm going to get this back in, but let's give it a go. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Oh, maybe not. Got the back end in. Whoops. Can you guys see that? There you go. Got the back end in. Just slide these in, maybe. Like so, and like so. Hey, look at that. All right. I'd say we now have a uh, lifter ready for a, a Rover V8 that you know is a good one because it's got the GM badge on it. 
like I say, if you're doing this, guys, I'm going to disassemble this, but if you're doing this, clean this up really good. This cap, I forget, I don't know what the official name is for this part here, this part, as was in the GM one. I don't know what the official name is, but make sure you clean that real good. And you saw how tight that was, the, the piston assembly into here. Do not force it. Any little bits of crud on your fingers, they're going to get in there. They're going to jam up the lifter. You need to be surgical with these. So what I'd almost recommend you do is disassemble the rover lifters. Get the caps out of them. Move them out of the way. Get them all perfectly cleaned. And then with a nice clean workbench, do these one at a time with lots of paper towels nearby. So... Hope that helps. Go Rover.